Singapore removes gay sex ban, but it's not all good news. Recently, Singapore's parliament unanimously voted to repeal section 377A of its penal code, removing the colonial era ban on sex between men. Last August, Prime Minister uh, Lee Hsien Long announced, quote, sex between consenting men should not be criminalized. There is no justification to prosecute for it, nor make it a crime. Well, the Singaporean legislator voted to remove the ban on gay sex, many LGBT individuals and groups were still disappointed because Prime Minister Luang also promised to protect the definition of marriage between a man and a woman from being challenged constitutionally in courts. Home Affairs Minister K. Um, Sean Mugam said, quote, we will try to maintain a balance to uphold a stable society with a traditional heterosexual family values, but with space for homosexuals to live their lives and contribute to society. So here's what went down. Like they repealed, they officially repealed this area of the penal code left over from the colonial era that made it, you know, a crime for gay men to have sex. Um, and it's one of those ways that colonial law would say, like, um, against sex that is against nature. Like, those are the kind of terminologies that they would use. But the problem is, is that as they made this move, they pushed it, they amended the Constitution so that you basically are, it. they're going to be unable to challenge the definition of marriage in in the legal system so the way that in the united states or taiwan gay marriage became federally recognized is by challenging um it, it is is through the judicial process and so they amended their constitution to make basically make that next to impossible so a lot of people are happy about this repeal being officially off the books Apparently, it hasn't been enforced for a very long time, but um, maybe around 20 years, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little, give or take, you know. Um, but, you know, it was still technically on the books and kind of used to ostracize people. So it is good that it's repealed, but then other people are like, hey, we still had something like very important that a door has just been closed on us in other ways. I mean, a lot of people in the live chat are expressing what I wanted to say because, like this one, Shreya is saying Singapore is so developed. I never expected them to have a, a gay sex ban. Yeah, I thought so. I was when I when I thought Singapore, I would think like very modern, very advanced, very progressive country. Also, a destination to a world class like business and tourism and entrepreneurship. So it's very weird for me that Singapore is this behind and that is still behind apparently, even after this, it's still not, I mean, it's Singapore for crying out loud. This is like one of the richest, most tech developed, futuristic. Singapore seems to be a country that is in the, that you look at it like, oh, this is what the future is. Um, apparently not when it comes to- The, the rest world. of us are just trying to catch up. That's what you would think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, have you seen Singapore? Singapore is like the image of the future. <laughs> like, so I don't know. Uh, what well, is yeah, because they're this? like, you know, diabolically clean. And it's just, not, it, they're okay. So it's like a more real, less cartoonish version of the future compared to the Gulf Arab question, uh, countries. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, more, more green, more. Uh, smarter, a lot smarter, a lot more um, financially um, sustainable than what they have. I mean, I, I like how much, like, look at when you just put Singapore and you go to Google Images, you look, I, I love how much they focus on, it's not just futuristic, it's also green. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's that looks like fishy. something out of like Avatar, right? like all those those green buildings. Yeah, it's so cool. This is not like a concept models. This is now. This is this is Indonesia now. 
Okay. You need so, Singapore. Oh, sorry, Singapore, not Indonesia. Right. Look how cute it is. And the streets are so beautiful. And then you get a little bit of, you know, Buddhism and cute versions of, you know, Hinduism and even Islam and Christianity. Like you see, struggling, like they're all right next to each other. But they, like they have Muslims and they have Islam and mosques, but there's nothing of that being uh, used as a way to make it look, seem like it's an Islamic country. Like it's not forced upon anybody. It's just Muslims just doing mm. their thing, right? So it's very progressive. I would um, not describe Singapore as progressive. No? Okay. What? Well, that's, that's I mean, what they, I... They're that's so... What, okay. That's what restrictive I restrictive of civil civil liberties. Like they are very desegregated, but it's like forced desegregation, forced okay. integration. Like that's it does make people get along, but is that in a way that's organic? There's not any real like civil discourse isn't allowed in in a very fruitful way. Um Okay, so what I meant by progressive is that my wrong interpretation of Singapore was that it's progressive. Like, when, yeah, if you it's ask me, very restrictive when it comes to civil liberties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has a I nice exterior. Even... Don't get me wrong. Oh my god. Yeah. Right. What I call yeah, it yeah. a liberal society, not necessarily. And I'm yeah, not trying I mean... to act like I'm super well versed. Okay, well, let me let me say make make your point. Um, is is chewing gum still illegal in Singapore? Is, okay, is okay let's go ask our good sis Google. Is chewing gum illegal in Singapore? Um, since 2004, an exception has existed for therapeutic dental and nicotine chewing gum, which can be bought from a doctor or registered pharmacist. It is not illegal to chew gum in Singapore, but it is against the law to import and sell it apart from the aforementioned exceptions. So it sounds like it's extremely difficult to come by. A doctor has to give it to you. If you want gum, you need prescriptions from doctors. It used to be all illegal for everybody, but now apparently because some people need it for getting off um, cigarettes and stuff, they are making exceptions. But it's like, it's like, it's like drugs now. If you want to get gum, you have to... You have to get. Kuya is saying eating a durian in an elevator is also illegal. That's so specific. That is very specific. Which is so random, but somehow that makes it more believable. <laughs> 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 and here's the thing, because I know that a lot of the chewing gum stuff comes from wanting everything to be very clean. And if that, I speculate that that might be the motivation between the durian in the elevator ban, because just the vision of eating a durian in an elevator seems very sticky and messy, which seems against the whole spirit of the, the chewing gum situation. So, you know, I kind of, I, 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 I can believe that. I, 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 I in fact, I understand. <laughs> okay. We have official. Oh my God, Puya in. said that they literally confiscated my gum when I was entering the country. They do not play around. <laughs> oh my God, they look at your, they search your suitcase for gum. Okay, take it more seriously um, than Australia handles. You know, scheduled one drugs. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to Singapore? Uh, yeah, twice. Twice. Yeah. I really want to go. It's not uh, on the but, top of my list, but I would like to go one day. I feel like I missed out on the, you know, like I didn't, I, when I went there, it didn't look as futuristic as I'm saying it right now. I don't know. Maybe this is new because it was oh. a while ago. Okay, so I want I have to go back. I think I missed out on the best times of Singapore. I have to. Go. Armin's like, like disappointed. Yeah, no, like I remember Sing when I went to Singapore, I was like, there's not much to do here. Like the best it had to offer was a lion, sea lion that shot, you know, that was shooting water out of his mouth. That was like the the best that you guys I got from Singapore. Like, okay, there's a statue of a lion, mermaid lion, a sea lion, and the water is shooting out in the water. That was the that was the tourist attraction. Okay. So I was like, I should have never gone to Singapore. I should have stayed in Malaysia. Malaysia and Thailand had more to offer. 
But now I'm looking at pictures of my, uh, Singapore. I'm like, damn, Singapore would be nice. I'm like, is this new? Because I don't, I, I don't remember it like this. I think these are all new. Um, yeah. All right. Can we clap for the next news? Um, oh, yeah. You have Universal Studios, yeah. Okay. Um, can we, can we clap? Oh, it's no. Like rare to say, did Armin just call a sea lion a mermaid lion? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's like an actual lion. Oh wait, see, is that is that what it's called? Sea lion? Are you talking about the thing that looks like a giant seal? Uh, they look like seals, but they're not seals. No, they're guys, big. No, freaking... no, sea lion is an actual thing. I'm talking about a lion with a mermaid. Okay, I don't know what they're. Is called. it a mythical creature? Yes, sea lions are real. Um, are real, but this is not. Here, hold on. <laughs> Did I just call a sea lion? Pakistani mother? defense force is such a bald faced hater. You say, Armin, you wouldn't know how to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, Yo, <laughs> this guy. Uh, we were tearing it up in Cologne, though. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> See when I when I search for oh yeah oh. we were. See when I search for Mer so it's not a sea lion. If I yeah look it's a lion with yeah, a fish yeah. tail. Mer lion. Oh mer, mer lion. Hey, I just came up with mer, mer lion. I didn't know even what this is called. I was like it, I wasn't far off. It's a mer lion. Mer lion. Mer, yeah. Oh my Merman, gosh. mermaid, merlion. That makes sense. Merlion. Yeah, so it's not a sea lion. It's a merlion. So yeah, this is a, this is what the, what I remember as a child going to Singapore. This is what I remember. Oh my god! And yeah, as, even as a child, I was not impressed. I was like, I was there as a kid. I was looking at it like, meh. I wish I was back in Thailand. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why we came here. <laughs> I'm looking, looking at my parents with disappointment. I'm like, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fountain. <laughs> Unimpressed Armin. <laughs> You're such a little prince. I can't deal with it. I'm like, there's so many temples in Thailand. And like an elephants and statues of Buddha. I was like, I was so shocked. I was like, oh my God, this country is a wonderland. And then in Singapore, I was like, we have a statue of a lion with the mermaid tail. Yay. And it's not even ancient. It's modern. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.